Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, another update video. Um, just taking apart a bunch of stuff. We ended up working on the reheating problem, and we found out that the fans weren't kicking on because of the computer right here. <laughs> Not sending the message to the fan relays to the fans to turn on after a point when the engine got up to about 240. So then we try to replace it uh, with a 92 Firebird one, pretty corroded, pretty nasty, and it ended up not even working. So what we're thinking was is we put a switch, a fan switch, so we can manually turn it on whenever we want. So, and that only turns on when the ignition is in the on position. Some other things, uh, we did a block test where you siphon out the majority of the coolant and then you use this device, put some uh, blue solution in it and if there's any combustion gases in the radiator then it would turn the blue solution yellow which then it would have meant that it was a head gasket, which is about a $600 job. So luckily, that was uh, a failure, so that's, that's great. So uh, then now we're gonna take apart the thermostat and uh, take apart the radiator to see if anything's clogging up the radiator, because that could also be a factor in why it's overheating. But uh, so what we've done is to get to the thermostat which is those two bolts right there. One there. And then one right there. Now that one was a bitch to get to. You gotta take off the top radiator hose. Take off this. And then to get under there. I ended up putting a wrench through this hole right here to get to it. Pretty much taken apart to get to that also is uh, the air cleaner, the k and air cleaner for the 350. It came off with uh, like an 8 socket and these are just kind of wing nuts. And then what else I'm doing is uh, I took apart the uh, the headlight bezel because this is not supposed to look like this. Because <laughs> these are older ones and we're just gonna replace them. Now those are fine, but what we're probably gonna end up doing is I took off all of these. And like uh, grinding them all out, make them real shiny so the paint will stick to them a little bit better. I'm gonna be still going with that red theme, I'm thinking. So then, once these all get painted and all look nice, but since it rained today, I wasn't gonna do that. And I also uh, took off the grill because this one's just in really really poor shape. I uh, epoxied that piece that fell off but this just isn't really worth saving. I found a, a factory replacement for like 34 bucks online so hopefully that's pretty legit. So yes yeah, so that's my progress. Um, yeah. I got some uh, other new stuff that's back in the trunk but that's for another video. So yeah, so that's all I got. It's just a quick update. We'll see you.